Hey guys, Clemcy here and welcome back to SnowRunner. Thanks for the amazing feedback on the past episode. It was a tough one but we managed it in the end. Today we are back and hopefully it's going to be a smoother ride. I've been playing offline for a couple of hours and I think I've gotten a bit of experience both in the driving skills and in my driver, virtual driver as well. We are now rank 7. Anyway, I, offline I was able to unlock a new map. So we have been in Alaska this entire time, but in the beginning, in Northport, I actually don't think I've shown you that yet. But if you go to global map, there are actually three different regions. Michigan is where you start off. That's the recommended place you start things off with. And I think then it's recommended you switch to Tymir, which is in Russia, I believe. And then the last thing that they recommend you tackle is Alaska because of the difficulty, which is indicative of how hard the last mission was with the heavy trailer. If you haven't checked it out yet, go and check out the playlist in the video description. Episode 2 is when all the magic happens or doesn't happen. So we unlocked the mountain river. We're in Northport, we unlocked mountain river and White Valley. But I haven't really gone around White Valley yet, so Northport... The way towards the mountain river is that way. So that is open now. The gateway to White Valley is still closed. I'm not quite sure how to open that, but we'll be focusing this episode in the mountain river. So let's go there. I have a truck waiting. This is the map. You can see I've already discovered everything. No more uh, black spots. I've uncovered all the watchtowers and all that. And I have a truck waiting here so we can get on with the mission i also like this that loading screen just saw there's a nice uh they have some nice trivia right what do we have here fleet star f 2070 a international fleet star i like this truck i think you actually get this truck from michigan anyway let's get things started we have a crane we have a loader at the back should be ready for some heavy hauling. Hopefully not as heavy as the previous one though. Do we need to refuel? Not really, we're still full. So what we're going to do today, let me show you the map here, is actually... And this map is a bit more gentle, I would say, than the previous one. Lots of highways, you can see right there the main roads. I've done a couple of uh, jobs as well to improve the infrastructure. Like this one was blocked off before because the pipeline was not finished. So I did that mission and now you can pass through there. This time we are doing the bridge. I wanted to take you and show you how amazing this map is of the game. That it's actually dynamic. When you do the jobs for the game, the map develops and evolves. So for us in particular, it's restoring the bridge right here. Uh, I actually delivered something else here from the warehouse, but this is the last part. Service spare parts from the service hub, so it's a very short drive. It's Hopefully it's going to be a relaxing one. Short drive here, load it up, and then uh, drop it off on the bridge. Start tracking that thing. And then I also realized these icons, what these icons mean. You see an up and down, like upload, download. So we, we load the goods from here, and we unload it there so that's what those icons stand for they look very similar to me in the beginning they didn't make much sense to me but now they do let's have a look at this uh, truck we still don't have the uh, we steering wheel support the full steering wheel support i'm doing a workaround so i can use my g27 not the best but it's it's there at least but i'm hoping a patch comes in soon with force feedback and everything but at least the G27 is passable, we can make it work. And if you are, if you have a G27 as well and it doesn't work for you, let me know and I'll share with you the global device settings I use. You'll basically have to uncheck the allow game to modify settings option. Alright, so it's going to be an easy one and I wanted to take this job just to contrast it with how difficult the previous job, the previous episode was. So this is supposedly a walk in the park compared to that. But you know, with me on the wheel, you can never tell. I also wanted to show you guys how this works. When you have a... Let's put on the parking brake here. 
you can actually do manual loading so normally you can auto load stuff but you can actually do manual loading as well and that can work because we have a crane and this crane is actually functional it's not only for design you get to load it yourself so we need two service spare parts um, are there other options no service spare parts is what we need so what we do here is we activate the anchor of the crane we go into crane mode and i have my steering wheel and gamepad enabled at the same time thankfully both are compatible both work with each other seamlessly so i can just switch without needing to go into the settings or anything i just enable both of them just turn them on right so here we have a bit of guide on where that aligns so we can connect right here attach it see the winch in there and then we can try to lift the crane the opposite other way oh it's a heavy move it back here make sure that i'm not going to hit the trailer they are pretty forgiving with this one though i don't think you can damage the goods thankfully otherwise i would never finish a mission so we do that you can also rotate the cargo very subtle has to be very subtle movements otherwise the cargo would swing around like crazy then let's bring it back and maybe i can move up actually Just told you sudden no sudden movements <laughs> and then we lower this thing down like so I think that should be good enough already all right and then we detach it okay one down one to go and then we go to crane mode now we go to cargo management service spare parts again and then we go to crane mode again to load the second stuff it's quite cool i was going through the tutorial at one point and i think i remember but correct me here if i'm wrong that you actually get a bonus for doing this it's not only for immersion purposes but you actually get a bonus in the xp not so sure what if you do this manual loading if you guys remember if you guys know hit me up in the comment section and uh, confirm or correct my assumption okay lift that up but i kind of like this and it's i'm not sure if it's just me maybe i'm getting better at this not really but I remember in Mud Runner, this entire process was was much more painful. I remember trying to load up logs for like one whole hour or more, just trying to load logs using my crane. Not sure, maybe they improved the picture already. With a controller, it's much easier, I think. Let's nudge that along, that cargo along. sec huh sorry <laughs> maybe let's correct that there you go okay all right perfect now that's done we can simply go back restore or pack the cargo and there they are and we can restore the crane to its original uh, position i think you can also do you can also restore it manually i haven't figured out a way to do so and i'm just too lazy to try but there we are now we are loaded and now we bring this to the bridge and fix the bridge from there maybe we can do another mission or do some bit of exploration of the new area yeah maybe that's what we can do today and uh you guys let me know which mission you want to take next time okay we'll do a bit of sightseeing today we need some lights it is get started to get dark I kind of wish there was also AI, some cars driving around the roads, but uh, maybe it's for the best that there aren't because even without the cars on the road, I'm already making a mess out of things. So yeah, this might be for the best. Remember that humongous trailer from the previous episode? I actually did another job like that here in this map. So I think in each of the maps, there is that humongous trailer that you take to the port. 
So I had to take that humongous trailer from this, cross over to the first map that we were in, and then uh, unload it on the same port where we unloaded the first one. So it was a longer trip, but it was actually a much easier one because you have these uh, properly cemented roads in there. So it's not as bad, not as snowy as the first one. Right, here we are, restore the bridge. And you can see that actually gets constructed right in front of your eyes. And now we can cross easily. And this allows us to do missions much faster. You don't have to go all the way around. Let me tell you offline, there have been a few disasters in this area. Because if I show you in third person, you can see below there's a road. Initially, before this bridge was built, you had to go through the snowy roads down there. And you had to pass through that river from there. And it was not an easy drive. I took my Hummer, I was feeling confident because it was a Hummer and uh, I thought it could haul anything. I tried to haul a cement slab and I ended up all over the place literally and uh, the cement slab ended up on the snow somewhere. I had to pick it up using a crane. <laughs> it cost me hours of work. But yeah, I'm learning bit by bit so hopefully it becomes smoother as we progress and I also learned uh, started learning about the all-wheel drive and diff lock so I, as you can see in the right side of the screen I have everything disabled so I try to ha leave everything disabled as much as I can and we just um, we just don't enable it unless necessary because they consume all-wheel drive consumes a lot of fuel and diff lock slows you down a lot. You have to be in low gear for it. So yeah, we keep it normal like this. Now on the stones here, and remember someone asking about it in the comments. I'm not sure how you can remove those stones. I think it's related to the mission where you get rid of the the garbage. Let, let me see. Let's have a look. So if you go to the missions here. Uh, if you look under the ones with the there, the ones with the globe, the icon, I think that one means that it contributes to something. So this one fixes the pipeline. Same with that. Disposed of all the junk. I think that one. If you do the missions which dip disposes of the junk, then it maybe that's the one which removes the stones, the rocks on the road. I'm not really sure though. Anyway, for us, what currently is here? We can spend our time trying to deliver stuff across the map here or we can explore this is all delivery or to the north port no i don't want that yeah we can explore the other map the white valley i think i'd like that better i haven't been there before and i think it's nice to explore it okay so let's see how do we remove the tracking of the mission uh, if we stop tracking that one, there we go. And then straight ahead is the gateway to the valley. That's where we are. We just go straight to the tunnel. And that leads us to the other area. And that one I haven't really explored yet, so we can explore it together. And maybe fumble around together. I also try to keep the episode shorter, maybe 30 to 40 minutes. 30 minutes ideally, so it's more accessible to people. I know having like one hour episodes is a bit taxing and harder to commit to so we'll try shorter and then you guys let me know if you like longer episodes or that uh, fits perfectly and look, look at the trivia on the lower left you can pause the video those kinds of trivia are very interesting gives you a, a good reason to actually load <laughs> go to the loading screen as much as possible something about truck drivers and the trucking industry stuff like that Right, let me show you the map. Everything is still dark. We can go and explore this together. Maybe we can try and see how to get to that watchtower. Now, normally you would do this with a scout, but I mean, I'm feeling confident enough for this truck, famous last words, um, and that we can do this on our own. And if we come across some missions, then that's going to be a good thing that we have 
a way to load things on our back as compared to a scout where you have to you can look around but you cannot really do anything you have to take your truck with you you have to take a different truck because i tried that before there's a tunnel here okay Let's see if this leads anywhere oh yeah okay looking good lots of paved roads that's good always even if there are rocks around this seems like a locked thing yeah this is under construction so this won't be accessible to us yet but we can have a look what it is block tunnel Let's see that last earthquake left quite an impact on the whole region case in point what tunnel is now blocked by rubble oh this i think links together to the first map yeah because from the first map i can't go here directly but probably if we do this mission then we will have a chance of going directly to the first map. Oh, I like that. Small pipes, concrete blocks. Concrete blocks. Um, now, I don't... Have, yeah, gateway to North Port. Exactly. That's the first map. Cool. So, we have a warehouse there. We have a factory there. Yeah, let's explore the place. And if you have time, then we will do the mission as well. But first, focus on finding that watchtower so we can get a better view of our surroundings uh there was there was a dirt road here somewhere is it this one? Oh yeah it's this one it's way better to drive in first person way harder though but yeah much more immersive playing with the steering wheel and being in first person like this only thing missing is force feedback and track IR which are very hard to implement, I can imagine. Well, it shouldn't be, actually. A lot of other driving games have it. And the uh, people from Track IR are always saying implementing Track IR compatibility is always one of the simplest things. Like, if you can use your mouse to look around, should not be a huge step to make it also possible to use Track IR looking around so I'm hoping they get to that eventually I haven't seen any confirmation of track IR being planned though so that might be something which is actually not part of the roadmap I'm hoping they reconsider if that's the case alright let's go and stop here let's uh, have a look and we are stuck anyway so we have no choice <laughs> Alright, so we are going the wrong way. Actually, that might have been a better way towards this one. Let me rotate it. This We entered this way. Okay. So that one, actually, maybe it's still possible. If we go straight through, this one curves around. Maybe there is a road going that way. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I like this. I like this kind of video. More chill, more exploration less about jobs and more about discovery and just enjoying the landscape if you can call this enjoying also unlocking level 7 gives me a few more tools at my disposal all wheel drive here particularly the all-terrain tires it helps a lot with the, these kinds of roads because initially only the highway tires are unlocked for me and it's so hard to go through muddy and snowy areas. I can imagine as time goes by, it will be even easier as we unlock the mud tires, the chain tires, all that stuff. Okay, can turn off all wheel drive again. Yeah, I think I can manage that. If I go to low gear and enable diff lock, Will I be able to go through faster? Yeah, the low gear is just so slow, which makes a lot of sense. I actually have my foot flat on the floor, and you cannot even hear the engine revving. Yeah, it's not screaming at all. That's fine. Easy does it. It is a very rough terrain after all. Take it slowly. Oh, that's pretty muddy be in a hairy situation here 
Let's go to all wheel drive. Warehouse, okay. But at least we're moving now, right? And let me go to handbrake mode and go and check the map here. If we go to the left, actually no, there is no actual road in there that's going straight to the watchtower. But what we can do, we can actually pass by the warehouse if we follow this road. Let me do some stuff here. If we follow this road, I guess something like that and we'll get to the watchtower eventually. Uh, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> so we go to the right instead. I like those air air sounds. Subtle air sounds of the truck. Even though the engine is a bit too subtle it for my liking. It's not that bad combined with the other truck sounds that they added. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Okay, good. Yeah, with this game, I would try and avoid hauling a trailer as much as possible. Why are we slanted? There you go. I was a bit scared there. To be honest. Especially in first person, it looks much scarier, huh? Just slanting at 45 degrees like that, my goodness. Okay, let me turn off all wheel drive. Maybe it's better I leave it on for now. Because I got stuck. There we go, alright. Turn off all wheel drive, turn off diff lock. See if we can manage this manually. With no extra stuff enabled. Yeah, so far it looks good, I think. We just have to, I think, reverse our turn earlier. Oh, look at the fog in the distance. You can hardly see anything. Yikes. That's pretty terrible. And those rocks on the right side, we try to avoid them. Those are deadly. They get you stuck. <clears throat> Alright. Let's stop over there on that waypoint. And let's have a look on the right because it looks like a scenic area. Supposedly. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, I guess on a good day with good weather, that would look so majestic. But at this point, it's so dark. We actually wait till the day, but this is more scenic. This is more, how do you say, exciting. Like, ooh, is that actually ice? That looks like ice. Yeah. Ooh, super slippery. Goodness. It's either you get stuck in mud and snow, or you slip all over the place with ice. Let's go to low gear here. The flock. And if I need to, I'll switch to all wheel drive. But I'll try not to as much as I can. Let's go to first person again. Yeah, still so far the worst road I have ever driven in is the road that we did in the last episode. Thickest snow I've ever had to plow through. Um, just go straight. No, actually turn left is the one towards the watchtower. Ooh, I almost, I almost missed my turn. Okay. So this one is going to the watchtower. And then we'll spend our night there, wait till the morning, and then go straight to the warehouse. Sec, huh? Why do I feel like I'm still turning the wrong way? No, that's fine. I should have that. That's a very zigzaggy road. Must be pretty hilly this one. Okay. Do we need all-wheel drive now? Yes, I think so. Don't even know what's happening, but I am slanting, and it's scary. Oh. That explains a lot of things. Uh, maybe let's not go through there. Sorry, I'm really sorry, Mr. Tree. <laughs> I 
have no fight against you. Hmm. Probably not the best way. So what we can do is we can actually maybe winch our way through. So we can get out of this area. Is that enough? There we go. Alright. Thank goodness. Stay away from that tree. This is the benefit of going third person. You know what? Let's spend the night here because it's getting really dark now. And I would hate to go through that scary uphill climb there this dark a day All right morning has come that looks much better and now we can resume the good night's sleep yikes looking good yeah, our third person really is great for traversing the areas like this but it's not as immersive although it is much more functional but you guys let me know in the comments which one you prefer it does probably make a lot of sense to go in third person so you guys can know better what's happening but I'm okay either way so I'll try it and do it both and you let me know in the comments which you like to be the more dominant view where I would spend my time in more often. Alright. Actually, with the time we have, I think we will actually end the episode when we get to the Watchtower. Just a little bit of relief to show that the game is not all hardcore uh, punishment. Sometimes it's a little bit more of sightseeing as well. So that can be something to make it not so uh, hardcore for others. Maybe this is something you can also get into. Looking good. And I actually don't even have all-wheel drive nor diff lock enabled. I did go through that piece of rock though, which is, yeah, as I mentioned, really scary. So let's try and move away from that guy. Because a single rock like that is enough to tip you over. And you'll have to rescue yourself using a different truck. Or worse, recover to a garage. Now this place in White Valley actually has a garage. So we can probably eventually find it. But that's why we are doing these uh, watchtower explorations in the first place yikes this is a very very steep very skimpy area I'm sure I actually, how I actually fit through here huh. I think I'll have to approach it at an angle maybe turn left here a bit and then turn right Something like that. All wheel drive, please. Thank you. Oh, all wheel drive changes the landscape so much. Real game changer when it comes to getting unstuck like this. Is that not enough? If I have a feeling I should be able to make it now. But maybe I need diff lock as well. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. Remove all wheel drive again. Let's go and save up some fuel because this little trek here has cost me half of my fuel tank already. But uh, this is uphill, so hopefully downhill. Making our way downhill won't be as intense. And yes, I think for these uh, for these kinds of escapades, taking a scout with us is going to be much more beneficial. It's not efficient to explore these very crooked mountainous regions with just a with a truck with a full size truck like this there we go unlocked a couple of missions a 
objectives and whatnot. XP. Let's go and launch and get a nice view of things to come. So I'll go through the missions and then we can go and decide which one we would like to focus on first, okay? Personally, I would like to focus on that block tunnel mission because I would want a direct line to the the first map to Northport. But at the same time, I also want to discover where the garage is. And so far, it hasn't unlocked itself yet. So let's see. Yeah, I think all of these are all the missions that we have across all the maps. So I think that one is where we're going next. Small pipe, so we get some from the warehouse and then we deliver it there now. Where is fuel? We need some fuel though. There's also this search and rescue thing. Uh, what is this? Off-road truck is recommended. So what is this doing? Scout 800 is stuck there. We need to deliver it to the parking here. So that probably means going through this place. So this is one possible option for us. Uh, Off-road truck. We do have that. Um, sounds scary. But if you like that, we can go. So we have, we have two options. Search and rescue or block tunnel. Okay, let me know in the comments which one you like to pursue next. Yikes. Might regret that. <laughs> okay. But that looks good. I don't see a fuel stop anywhere though. But yeah, I'll uh, make it work somehow. Okay? Anyway, thank you for watching guys. Hope to catch you in the next episode. And hopefully there are more episodes to come. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy. And if you like to see more of these kinds of things. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell icon so you know whenever I'm releasing a video very simulation oriented channel thanks for watching have a nice day and catch you in the next one clumsy off-road trucking everybody bye-bye stay safe out there